Hey, Shovelhead Fedge, out in the uh, Shovelhead Shed. It has been a long time. I have been on the uh, the injured reserve list. In fact, today is really the first day that I, uh, I've been able to wear boots, man. I hurt my foot in a slight motorcycle-related accident, and uh, so I haven't been wearing shoes, and uh, I've been walking around barefooted, and, every, and then graduated to flip-flops. And then tennis shoes, and then now finally work, and I can stand on my feet again. This is a 1980 shovel head. It's the original numbers that go to this box. The only difference is this is a 103 cubic stroker motor, a true stroker motor. Um, it is the biggest motor that you can put in a shovel head uh, without having to uh, do framework and stuff like that. I bet mine's bigger than yours. Um, the motor. Uh, yeah, I'm bragging. Um, a lot of guys got 96s and stuff like that. Uh, it, it originally had an 80 cubic inch motor, and then from the 80 cubic, I put a uh, 103 in there. Stroker motor about 20 years ago, 25 years ago. I don't know. I'm old and time flies. But anyway, um, the bike behind me, it's all original as far as all the transmission and, and numbers and, and all have matching numbers and all that stuff. I, I've had this bike for 25 years, 30 years. I don't remember. Um, this is my absolute favorite bike. Uh, a, uh, during Hurricane Charlie, um, the barn fell in it, fell on it, crushed the bike and just destroyed the bike. I got so upset. And I left it sit and rust in a pasture for I don't know how many years, man, 10 years, 15 years, I, I don't know. Um, so water got down in the engine, everything seized up, I committed the mortal sin, it's my fault, and I'm paying for it. So everything on this bike, everything, has had to be replaced. Every nut, bolt, screw, pretty much every wire, e e everything. So I finally got the, the motor back together, all, uh, all brand new, it's all S&S, all S&S pistons, and, uh, um, uh, I forgot exactly what parts are all S&S. Like I said, I'm old, man. Um, but I tried to keep as much Harley as I could. And, uh, of course, for the performance parts, I had to go S&S. And, &S. and uh, it's basically the same motor that I'm putting in, just new jugs, new pistons, uh, uh, more up-to-date S&S um, &S, um, oil pump. And... Uh, so it's going to take me a while, man. It is, it's going to take me. It's not going to be, when I say everything, everything, every throttle cable, the brake cable, every, the, the bike is toast, the tires are toast, everything, the bearings and, and stuff like that. And so uh, I was always going to keep this bike no matter what. So I decided that uh, I'm going to get it back, put together, get it put back together. It's going to take me a long time. I'm not Jared Weems. What's up, Jared? Uh, that guy's good. Um, I am a I'm a hack, uh, and so it's just gonna take me time to replace parts. Plus, I'm also always on a budget, um, so uh, I'll get the parts as I can. In fact, the carburetor on here is an uh, a Super E, and I took it apart I think about three years ago, and it's completely apart because I was gonna rebuild it. I got I got I started doing something else. So all the parts to the carburetor is on the bench over there. Um, and 18 million pieces, and hopefully I can find all the pieces. I'm sure I can. Uh, I'll rebuild it. Um, I, it. It did, of course, originally came with, with points. I put an electronic ignition in there. Of course, that's toast. Um, but I'm going to go back electronic uh, because I think it works better with the, um, with the stroker motor. And, uh, yeah, it's just going to take a long time. So periodically you'll get more and more videos of, of me doing this and then eventually the one day that I'm going to start it up um, uh, this bike is all go and zero show I, I uh, it used to be a show bike and it was all nice and pretty but it was also a go bike but now I'm old I don't care about the show anymore man I really don't care about the go, just as long as it goes, but uh, it, it, it originally was a ground pounder. I always called it, because back in the day, that was the, uh, the fast bikes with the Evos. I always called it my Evo eater. I always had a blast when the Evos would, you know, 
pull up to me and they'd say, oh, it's Shelby Head, man, I'll whip his butt. And I ended up smoking him. But I was younger and dumber. Uh, but I just wanted to put that, I wanted to put the uh, 103 back in there. And uh, I'm really excited, man. It was like Christmas. Me, personally, I, I don't think, other than my wife, man, there ain't nothing more sexier than a shovel head. Just, I'm going to get this motor in, but, man, I don't, if I don't get it in, I, I got it. And, and I can just look at it, you know. It's like I, I come out here, and it's kind of like I'm sneaking out in the barn with my Playboy magazine, uh, you know. Uh, okay, that just got weird real quick, but you know what I mean. I, I just think it's a super sexy motor. Uh, the the paint, I, I'm not gonna. I just kind of cleaned up the tanks, all the sheet iron, all uh, whatever dents are in there. That's the dents that's gonna stay in there, <laughs> and uh, and and that's it, man. I'm just gonna kind of put my own. I'll federalize the paint job, and uh, I'm I'm not going to spend a lot of money on the paint because there's gonna be zero paint. I like rust because uh, you don't have to rush wash rust if if you see the the motor's not painted it's it's in basically it's natural state and i i like that so uh anyway um the cam uh i'm not gonna tell you what the cam is because that's a that's a trade secret um like i said it's a super e um and I'll just have to, uh, a Super E, SS Super E carburetor. I don't remember what the jets were. I know that we took a long time to get the jets just right. So, uh, hopefully, I haven't lost the jets. And, uh, man, that's it. Like I said, there'll be more videos coming out about this bike. More videos coming out. I'm going back to making videos because now I can finally walk around. I can get out in the garage. Um, like I said, I really, I really effed my foot up. Um... I did not have surgery or anything else like that. It just took a long time because when you're old and fat, hey, you heal slow. So anyway, uh, of course, man, like, share, and subscribe. You know what? Before I say that, you know, I have been out to some events. In fact, I'm going to roll that beautiful footage of me just here and there. Uh, I, I did go to Forgotten Angels. Had such a great time that, you know, um, I really didn't, I really didn't, uh, videotape much because every time I started videotaping, you guys love you to death and I'm not mad about it at all. You, you start coming up talking to me and for me, it's more important to talk to you than to really get some footage of something. And my wife was kind of laughing because she was laying back there or actually standing back there watching it, you know, watching the inter interaction between me and, 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 and other people. And I don't mind, man. When you see me come up and talk to me because, dude, that's, I love that. I, I'd rather do that. That's the whole thing, man. I go to those events to meet people, to talk to people, get new friends and and uh, sometimes piss one or two off but you know uh, I when I first started my video channel it was so much about 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 content 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 get the video get the video oh you know and, and I kind of ignored or kind of you know ignored the reason why I go to these events which is to go have a good time have a fun time and stuff like that so uh, we did go to the Arcadia bike fest that was a good time um, other events so uh, some some at the uh, local Harley Davidson shops and stuff like that so I will run some of that footage right now what do you think you're doing <laughs> what are you doing man never mind
Hey, it's Shovel Head Fetch. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Uh, you know, a lot of people ask me, hey, Fetch, how come you don't ever go to Daytona? And the reason, the true reason really is because number one, Daytona sucks. Number two, Daytona is not the Daytona that it used to be. And number three, man, I mean, just a week or two after Daytona, uh, out of the Forgotten Angels, they always have such an awesome party. And it really does remind me of how Daytona used to be. It was about people getting together, people just enjoying bikes, people eating and drinking and, and uh, um, Check out uh, Shade Tree Surgeons channel if you want to know about Forgotten Angels and what they do. It's a great organization and uh, instead of going to Daytona, I would come here. And it's in Florida. And it's a good time. Free camping, free booze, free beer, free water, free food. You don't go away hungry and uh, you know, very few things in Florida ever are free and this place is. Uh, There, wasn't that fun? Uh, you know, as always, man, like, share, and subscribe. I do appreciate it when you give me a thumbs up, you know, to help me with the algorithm. I've really laid off this channel. I took some time off. Happy to be back, happy to be back, happy to be back, happy to be filming again. Of course, check out my, uh, my, my uh, webpage, uh, shovelheadfedge.com. Uh, of course, for the shirts. Got, we still have the we still have the, 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 the long sleeve shirts, still have hoodies, still have some of the grays left. Of course we got the new hats hats in there. I don't know if Miss Dee Dee has them on the uh, on our website yet. It's just to me they're just man they're so between the price of the hats and then the shipping and all that stuff. So I don't know exactly how I'm gonna work it. I don't know if we're gonna put them on there, but yeah, definitely go out, check out my website, get a sticker or two, my Patreon. Um That's it, man. Uh Pray for us, pray for our country, man. And if you don't pray, well, I don't know what to tell you, man, but uh, just, uh, when I say our country, man, I'm talking about <laughs> the whole entire world right now. So anyway, just keep riding, be safe, stay Florida, and uh, I'll see you next time. See you.